there's a there's a jujitsu competition coming up next month, and I'm I want to do it, but it's also like it's like a hundred dollars U.S. just to sign up for the thing, and I'm like, do I really want to though? Ah, uh, what else could I spend that money on? Mm. But yeah, man. Well, at that it's, at that price, you, you could do like two or three two free judo competitions if you you know. Yeah, and at the same time, coming from a um, after having been paid to compete, paying to compete just doesn't make sense. <laughs> it doesn't. It's weird. It's like, no, I'm putting myself at risk. I, I deserve monetary compensation. That's how, that's how fighting works in my mind, you know? But, uh, yeah, paying to, paying to compete is weird. Yeah, yeah, no, I, I, I could understand that perfectly. So to just, just so I could wrap up the story, right? And so when I, when I switched over to judo, that's when I started, uh, uh, my coach said, listen, you, you should compete. I'm like, depends, how much is it? He told me, well, it's like 20 bucks a competition. And I'm like, 20 bucks? For 20 bucks, I'll do all the, all the damn competitions year round. <laughs> you know, because that, that was the limiting factor for me in Brazilian jiu-jitsu. It was so expensive. Uh, yeah. You know, like, you would literally have to get like a, a part-time job just to, you know, just to pay for competitions and expenses and hotels and all that. So I'm like, okay, for judo, at 20 bucks a pop, yeah, let's go. So I started competing in judo. First season was a disaster because I couldn't get over um, the fight, like you, you talked about, the, the, the anxiety of it all. But yes. then my coaches, they saw that and they told me, well, listen, you're not performing the way you perform in the club. So you're probably just nervous. What we're going to do is you're going to do every single competition for the rest of the season. <laughs> <laughs> Good. And then, and then I started winning. So, so now I started winning and I found my groove. So me, everybody, every, every fighter is different <clears throat> about regarding their mindset, how they prepare for it, how they think about it and all that. But me, like the mindset that works for me. And I tried, a, I tried a couple, I tried being the hyping myself up and being the ultra aggressive guy that's going to come in there and rip the guy's head off and I'm, I'm a killer and you know, blah, blah, blah. That didn't work. And then I yeah. tried, okay, maybe. Maybe if I come in and I'm, I'm ultra relaxed and I don't take it seriously and, you know, I'm just there for fun, that didn't work out either. Yeah. <laughs> you know, so, so, so then finally, I, I, after, after competing and doing it over and over, I, came, I got so desensitized to the fight because you come in, like, I, you walk, like the first time you walk on a, a, I know it's only judo, but you walk onto the mats, it's a big competition, you see like a couple of hundred guys, man, yeah. running around, you know, like they take a whole surface area, like half of the space is taken up just for the warm ups. for, you know, okay, this is the adults are fighting now. We're going to warm up. So it's a group warm up. You see all the judo guys like on the mat, they start running around, they start warming up and stuff like that. And it's, it's intimidating, you know, the lights, the flash, the, the, the refs and all that. Uh, but then after a while, you get so desensitized to that because at one point I was just going there and I'm like, okay. It's the same thing over and over again. So I was even uh -huh. taking naps like in between my fights, you know, <laughs> literally taking naps. I had my, I brought my, um, my sleeping bag and I, I would literally eat and take naps until it was my turn. And then my coaches would come and kick me and, Hey, it's your turn. Get dressed, get warmed up. It's, it's time to go. I'm like, Oh, okay. So anyways, I started performing. You gotta, you so gotta watch out for the guys who, who can sleep before a fight, man. <laughs> Those are some scary dudes. Yeah, yeah, and um, so 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 I got to the point where okay, now now I, I don't have that anxiety anymore because it's just another competition, whatever, no big deal. And the mindset that worked for me at this point, I feel no, um, I don't feel anxiety, I don't feel any fear. I'm really out there to have fun. I get excited now, and in my mind, it's about okay, this is where I get to showcase like that I what I'm about and I'm going to kick this guy's butt, but it's a very, it's excited. I'm excited, but I'm focused, but yeah. I'm, I'm there to show off if that makes any sense. No, that, that absolutely makes sense. Like nervousness, and, and excitement are almost the same emotion. They're almost, it's just, they're, they're translated so very differently in the mind. So it's, it's like, we, we have to get to the point where we can choose to be excited instead of nervous. 
Oh yeah, yeah, because it's this is this is the fun part. Like to me now, um, I chose excitement because I've noticed that I I I, I perform my best when I'm excited, and I'm like, oh, oh, oh I'm gonna beat this dude up. <laughs> you know, I'm gonna I'm gonna sh- I'm gonna show him what's what's real judo, you know, or whatever, you know, and I'm gonna and I'm I'm focused, you know, I'm not nervous, so it keeps me at a at a place where I'm I'm on, but not too on. I'm not overly aggressive or anything like that i'm just there i'm focused i'm there to win but i'm having a lot of fun so it, and yeah. for me it works it works tremendously well and um in the big scheme of things it's just a competition who cares to be honest yeah. you know so whether you whether i win or lose it doesn't matter obviously i'm gonna play to win but if i lose i mean i've, I've lost so much my whole life and at the same yeah. time during all those previous matches and competitions until i finally got the hang of it that to me, losing is actually no big deal because I, I, I've done more losing than winning. But now I'm starting to win. And now my coaches are telling me, like he's starting to, to tell me like, hey, listen, like the way you're going about it, the way you're training, like you really have uh, the potential to be a somebody in the judo world in Montreal. And you could, you could win against guys like in your division, like if you keep training. And that's where I started thinking about it and thinking about it. And then I'm like, wait a second. This is what I wanted when I was a kid. I wanted to go to the Olympics. I wanted to be a world champion or a, or Olympic champion in a combat sport, you know? So I'm yeah. like, well, what's stopping me now? So I thought about it and I'm like, shit, let's do it. Let's go. You know? So here, so my channel now is really about when, when I'm on my channel, I tell, I, t- I talk to my community and I'm always like, this is what I'm about. Like me, I like to, I like to train and the training is really to supplement my, uh, my judo. And I'm 42, and I'm going after my childhood dream at this point, and I'm gonna go win a, a world title. And, yeah. and that's so. So you know, I want people to like come and uh, hang out with me and see the journey. So I'm gonna share that on YouTube. So that's my whole thing, and to show people that it's possible to be at a very high level even at at 42, right? So I still have to get the black belt now because of COVID. Things are closed, you know, yeah. or I would, or else I would have gotten it by now. I believe. Um, but when things open up again, get the black belt. And after that, just compete until, uh, until I get that, uh, until I get that world title. And also I have to find a ma- way to make it work because the thing is, um, it's not like I'm on the national team or anything. I gotta, you know, essentially fund myself. So that's where it gets a little bit, um, I wouldn't say tricky, but that's what I'm working towards is essentially my only goal. But the only reason I actually want to make money in life at this point is so I could train and compete. <laughs> All right. I, I, don't, I, don't, I don't really care about anything else, you know? Like, it's like, I don't, I don't have any kids. Like, I have a dog, I have a wife and all. Uh, that, that's, you know, and, and I love them, of course. But I don't care about anything else. Money doesn't matter to me. Like, whether I'm rich or poor, it doesn't matter. Like, the only reason I want money, it's not to be just to have money for money's sake. It's about me getting a world title. 